Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're continuing my BL birthday bash, where I'm just diving into a bunch of these BL series because it's my birthday weekend, and I figured what better way to celebrate than to watch Delicious Boys. Um, so I just finished watching episode two of Why Are You, and I had said in that reaction that I only planned on watching one episode today in this reaction session, but it left me in a place where I'm like, nah, fam, nah. I need to see what happens in this next episode. P-Fight and Tudor. <laughs> so, we just gonna dive on in. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna make this wrap up quick because I know my camera is about to die. Uh, but cute, cute, cute episode. Um, a lot, a lot of development. Again, like I said in the last episode's reaction, these episodes are so long that, I mean, they don't feel long watching them, but they definitely take advantage of the fact that the episodes are longer and they put so much into them. So from the beginning of the episode to now, I feel like so much has happened. Um, we started off where we left off at, you know, Hua's party and she was making the mini sort of love connection with Day and you know Day was all about it but I was I was saying you know back the fuck up back up because she's drunk and also seeing somebody and we don't want to we don't want to be that guy we don't want to be the other person we don't mm -mm, not about that life and also consent consent she's drunk consent um but you know she pulled away and then P fight came in it's like yeah I'm taking her home whatever and you can see the kind of disappointment in Day's eyes. And then I don't really think we saw any more Day for the rest of the episode. I don't remember seeing him, which is sad because he's very, very cute. But I'm sure there'll be more development bet between them. Um, but yeah, like Saifa and P-Fight, they have this kind of commonality between them. I don't think that they're not in the same circles. No, they're the, but at least I don't really think. Um, but they have that sort of commonality between them where both of their rationale for why they're acting the way they're acting towards Zone and um, Tudor is that they just like to tease. They like to tease. They like to, you're the person that I like to tease and whatnot. It's just fun to tease you. And I'm like, mm hmm. Y'all teasing's a little, a little hot and heavy for my, for my personal taste. I mean, I love it. I'm, don't, don't get me wrong, I love it, but. I ain't never been teased like this, so I don't know what kind of teasing y'all grew up with, but this this ain't mm -mm, this this teasing got a little something more behind it than what y'all keep saying. Cause there's a lot <sighs> This show got so much damn just like I said, the director did a fantastic job in blocking these actors because like every scene, there's gotta be at least one pair of actors within three inches of each other's face. Otherwise, we can't, we're gonna have to reshoot this scene. I'm sorry, babies, y'all weren't close enough. I need y'all get another millimeter closer, please. Okay, we'll reshoot this frame. Like, and it just, it makes me feel some type of way. It gets my heart pitter pattering. I'm like, yes, God, praise Jesus. So yes, there's all of this just tension romantic sexual tension between Zon and um, Saifa, especially in that locker room shower when he's like, oh, I'm, a, I'm not just going to kiss you. I'm, oh, you think I'm going to kiss you? I wouldn't do that. I'm going to do more. And then he starts to take off his towel and I'm like, praise Jesus, baby, show me the goods, hallelujah. Um, and, you know, the, the 50,000 times that um, P-Fight has pushed Tudor up against the wall and been like three inches away from his face. I'm like, Lord, 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 Lord. It, it's, it's, it's given me all kinds of, all kinds of feels and I'm here for it. I'm, I'm as giddy as another fucking schoolgirl, I'll tell y'all. Um, but yeah. Also, Zol came, I don't know if, I guess Blue, yeah, never mind. I was gonna say, I wasn't sure if Blue was, because Zol, I just associate with being like a younger classman. I don't know if she's at the university as well, or if, I feel she's in high school, I think. I'm pretty sure, I feel like she's in high school. Um, so why she was in the area where Blue would have been, I don't know. Um, but she came and she's like, hey, I want to include you as a character in my thing. And he's like, yes, queen, come on, put me in this show. Put me, put me in your fiction. And I'm like, okay, yes. And then he's like, who are you gonna put me with? She's like, how about do and he's like nah let's go someone else i'm like you ain't got a choice she already made up her mind you gonna be with dude and this this is your reality so dude's a dick 
he's big dick action, big dick energy, and not in the good way. And I'm like, you know what? I need you to calm this down. I need you to. But I get it. That seems to be just like the senior mentality um, when it comes to their juniors. They are very teasing, antagonistic sometimes, and you know, very seems very like fraternity hazing type type dealing. So I'm like, okay. I guess this might just be a scenario again with that, but you know, I'm assuming he's gonna come around because it's all gonna write in her storybook and all of a sudden, you know, people fall in love. So we're gonna see what happens between Blue Doo. Um, but yeah, Hua, well, she's she's getting her feelings hurt a little bit. At the beginning of the episode, when, you know, Tudor was leaving, or before he left, he was like, why do you like him? Or do you really like him? And she's like, you know, I don't know if I really like him, which I'm like, okay, in the last episode, you were telling him, I'm going to stay away from Tudor if that makes you happy because I love you. And now you're telling Tudor, oh, you're always my first priority and I really don't know if I like him. And I'm like, okay, girl, make up your mind. But she's like, I don't know if I like him, but I know if I weren't with him, I'd be sad. And I'm like, okay, that's fair because, you know, you guys are have been seeing each other and whatnot for a, a decent amount of time. So it's... It's not a surprise to get attached to someone and be sad if, you know, that relationship ends. But doesn't mean that she loves him. And I don't know. I'm still trying to figure her out. She's still trying to figure things out. I'm still trying to figure her out. But I had to she's getting her feelings hurt. And it's sad. But hopefully her and Do... No, not Do. Day. Um, too much D in this show. <laughs> um, but hopefully they'll get together and, you know, make make happy times and whatnot but yeah we got we got a little bit of flashback again from when Tudor was junior you know entering up in into whatever this college or the fraternity or whatever the hell the situation is between them and you know P fight still had that same sort of up close and personal face talking action happening and he's like oh yeah I just like teasing you this is just teasing I'm like mm-hmm Mm -hmm. I need somebody to tease me like this. Praise Jesus. Um, but yeah, so now they're locked in the school together, and you know, a little cuddle session is cute. It's cute and it's adorable, and I like, I like seeing where things are going between them. I like seeing where things are going between Zone and Saifa, because obviously Saifa has some sort of interest in him, and you know, you could visibly see when. Zone was like, yeah, I will ne I'm, I'm, no, I don't want to do whatever singing or whatever with you. I'm, I'm running away. Yeah. And he's like, you can visibly see in Saifa's face that he was a little bit sad, a little bit hurt, because he, he wants to sing with Zone. Um, whether or not he's fully aware of these feelings, I don't know yet. But it's cute. They're cute. They're cute. Everybody in the show is cute. And it's just cuteness personified. So I can't wait to dive into the next episode. Obviously, it's not going to be right now because i got to charge up my camera and whatnot. So I'm probably going to let this charge, go grab some lunch, do edit a couple videos here. And then who knows? Maybe when I come back, I'll dive back into this or maybe I'll dive into my other stuff. I don't really know. We'll have to wait and see. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications so you'll be notified when all my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways you're more than welcome to join us over on patreon you don't have to but you're more than welcome to if you want to and i'll see you guys in my next video love you and before you guys go a shout out to my amazing patrons i can't begin to express how thankful i am for your support and if you guys would like to join us over on patreon the link is down in the description love you guys